Good morning, everybody. So, Arduin, I talk about it, but I don't talk about it. So, I thought I'd actually start kind of get into some of the older, old school aspects of it that people might want to use, especially if you're playing um, an older version of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, does Arduin have its own system? Yes, it does. So, um, uh, but this original stuff is probably closest to basic and AD&D, &D, okay? Or original D&D, &D. so kind of in that zone. Um, so one of the things uh, Dave did in the first uh, Grimoire that he put out was come up with some ideas for handing out experience points that departed from what uh, has become standard experience point issuing, I guess. Um, which gets into my thought process and why I'm always confused when people ask me questions like, which do you use, treasure or monsters? And I'm like, both. And there's a third one, you know. You know, you know, you know. Because I started with the system using both. Then the system changed, and I just kept doing both. <laughs> and I also added in for other stuff, and uh, probably because I was playing with somebody who at some point had Arduin, and then later on, I got Arduin Grimoire number one, and I could see, oh, well, somebody else was doing this too, <laughs> you know, but... I, I, I want to go over it. So he gives, um, there's a little chart in, in the first book, and I'm just going to read through it so we can discuss. Points given, 400, death, with successful revival, reincarnation, changed into another type of entity via curse, etc. So that would also be resurrection, any of that kind of things. 375, being sole survivor of an expedition, acquiring the mightiest of artifacts, Satan's own pitchfork, nuclear weapons, phasers, etc. 350. Defeating in single combat demigods or major demons above and beyond the normal points. 325. Defeating in single combat any creature that is four times your size or is 20 hit dice or larger, whichever is greater. 300, acquiring a major artifact, machine gun, explosive, staves of black wizardry, wish rings with more than five wishes, etc. 275, casting spells of tremendous magical import, the conjure of a major demon, using a gate spell, raising the dead fully and the like. 250, being cursed, acquiring a cursed item, dying, by being regenerated back to life using spells of major magical import, astral body, teleporting, tr prismatic wall, etc. 225, acquiring most staves, major ro rods, lordly might, for example, using a single wish, acquiring plus five weapons or armor, casting heavy magic spells, wind walk, phase door, cure disease, raising the dead, etc. Regenerate mana points or limbs, etc. 200. Acquiring items that are plus four magical items that are unusual. Wands of wizardry, silver la sil slaver slash, etc. Doing difficult spells like limited wishes. All physically draining ones like ESP and the like. 175, acquiring plus three items, wands, most rings, and ambulance, and doing spells such as transmute rock to mud, monster summoning, and the like. Being point man, and there's a little asterisk, means up to third level, fourth gets half the value, above fourth gets zero. So there's a caveat there. Acquiring plus two items, lesser rings, amulets, etc., Doing spells like Dimension Door, Deactivate Traps, Polymorph Self, and the like. 125. Acquiring a single or limited use item, single shot, 
spell storing rings, etc., plus one items doing spells like Wizard Eye or throwing a lightning bolt that kills the big, the BEM, that's the bug eyed monster, or in modern terminology, the big bad guy, just in time to save the party. Oh, you did a Hail Mary. 100, being expedition leader, coming within one point of dying, acquiring potions, 100 points per dose, scrolls, 100 points per level per use, and for doing spells like create food and water, mass invisibility, etc. 75, being rear guard, again, the little asterisk means up to third level, Fourth gets half the value, above fourth gets zero. Doing simple detection spells. And 50, figuring out a trap, triggering one, and taking damage. All lesser spells use locks, knocks, wins, going over half damage. Doing extra dangerous and uncalled for acts, checking for secret places when you know there are traps, etc. So, It's not monsters, it's not treasure. So original D and D, yet original D and D in the rules. You get experience points for treasure and monsters. This is an expansion. He's he's saying what I've said before that if you want people to role play, you want people to do things other than kill monsters or just look for treasure and loot the bodies. And I am one of those people who who will be like. Is there anything in the dead beggar's pockets? Because <laughs> usually my characters are broke. <laughs> but um, if you want them to do other stuff, in addition to you know looting the bodies and killing the monsters and stealing the treasure, um, you you need to have a reward for doing the other stuff. You need to have incentive. Once people figure out, I got extra exp because I almost died. My character almost died. I got extra uh, experience points because my character did die, but my buddies resurrected him. I got extra uh, experience points for doing my job, triggering traps, finding them, looking, you know, knowing that they might probably trapped, you know, but we got to deactivate it anyway. Um, casting spells. Okay. Because you, 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 You'll, when you got a resource-based game, and Arduin is a resource-based game, um, in, in, in the later edition, it goes to some uh, mile marker system. Um, I'm not sure what in the D100 they were doing, but in this earlier version, which is closest to original D&D, basic D&D, and advanced D&D, um, uh, 1E, um, it's using this sort of system. And then I think in the 1980s, it then glosses into EXP. I mean, so, so, so you have like varying degrees of, um, of systems that a game will go through in its development, like Arduin has. And, um, additionally, you have different systems in different games and how much points are given out or not given out at all. But the point is, I'm looking through this. If you want your character, you know, people to, to role play their characters, to do other things, then they need to know that they got experiences, points, for doing that thing that wasn't killing and wasn't looting. It's, it's, it's that simple. And, and this gives examples. You know, magic users and clerics, they get experience. They gain points because they're doing stuff. Fighters gain points because they're doing stuff. So, so that's probably the most wonderful thing about this chart is because it, it, I think it's one of the first ones I, I early on that, that did this. Um, and I wanted to share that and I wanted to open your guys' minds to thinking outside the box. Um, yeah, they died. If their buddies successfully get them resurrected or they're cursed and now they're a different thing, they still should get experience points. Because you can lose experience points in an older game like this. Anyway, something to think about. Everyone have a great day. Bye.